Richard Simmons tomorrow morning at 9. Brett, dear, can you be a white dove and help me out? Anything for you, Ivy. Well, it's this dress, see? It's part of my fashion line. I need someone to wear it so I can see how it will hang on women who aren't bosomy. Me? Yeah, I might be, you know, interested in both men and women, but doesn't make me a crossdresser. Oh, do I really stand a chance with him? <laughs> to all the rest they're one precious family he's not 80 he's 23 they thought he was dead i thought he was dead they thought the terror was over i thought the terror was over they were wrong we were wrong in a story about love leave me alone but i love you you never loved me i loved you in the grave and it hasn't ceased. Where is your fetching dress? Oh, God, you saw me in that? I thought everyone was gone. Oh, gee, it's such a perfect time for two men who want to be alone, you know? I do know. I have been feeling a little libidinous of late. Are you telling me Doggy wants to take a walk? Uh, no, L listen, I, I appreciate you noticing me in that way. Believe me, it's been months since I've been lecherous with a man. Or a woman. Well, come on, follow me. Oh. Let's go to my room. No, no, listen, I just I just think the, the age difference is too, it's too great. I can't believe they had me on two night shifts. I can't believe you're smoking a cigarette. And you're in the medical profession. I'm not going to be judged by a bunch of male nurses smoking reefer. But what you're doing, it causes lung cancer. I'm going to live my life my own way, by my own rules. Life is meaningless anyway. What is it, Emmy? I took a picture of Red when he had on that green dress. Ooh, I'm finding it. He looked just like my departed wife, Florence. Don't you think? Emmett, I have no idea as to what Florence looked like. I've only known you since I moved into precious metals. Here it is. I, I think, no, I lost it. I suggest you go into the craft room and cut yourself some glass. What? Make a stained glass window of your wife. It will help you deal with your pain and heartache. Here it is. The spitting image of Florence. Don't you think? I don't know nothing about your wife. <laughs> what I mean is the age difference, you know? Oh, shoot. I really wanted this to work. I've just, I've never dated anyone as young as you. What? It's just a bit peculiar. Really? How old do you think you are? Old? As in old, old. Oh, how old do you think you are? Too old for you. Oh, really? I'm willing to overlook the age difference if you are. <laughs> uh, say, well, what is this photograph here? Is you? Oh, that was decades ago when I had all my gray hair. They used to put a weave on me. It was so nice and thick, it made me feel like I was 45 again. Wait, is this a, is this a game show? I know your name is Kirk, but are you Kirk Hammond? <laughs> Present. I watched you all the time on The Devil's Box. Oh, yeah, Hollywood Squares, The Dick Cavett Show, Bless Your Lucky Stars. I loved Bless Your Lucky Stars. The, the reruns played on, on the game show now. Oh, I was famous. I was big. Kirk Hammond! Oh. You know how to make a boy blush. What's the skinny, Kirk? What do I know from skinny? I'm on the grapefruit diet. <laughs> <laughs> how many of those do you eat a day? One with every meal. The only problem is the women say that my disposition has gotten so sour. <laughs> um, 
a little nervous. I've never been with a celebrity before. I mean, I saw Priscilla Presley in an airport once, but that, that could have been anybody in a fiberglass death mask. Okay, I'm going to need you to help me get prepared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, I need you to unscrew my leg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, clockwise. Okay. Okay, sure. no, 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 first... Mm. Yeah, got it. No, no, no. Put my teeth in the cleaning jar. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're gonna be ready to go. Just one second. All, all you gotta do now is get the catheter out. Uh, yeah. That will help. <laughs> yeah. oh, please, hurry! I mean, I don't know what your wife looked like, but that definitely does look like a glass figure of a white lady. She was very white. Well, what a wonderful way to honor her. Well done. God's holy ground, what is happening? Is, is that blood? Oh no, I think he's dying of lung cancer. From all the cigarettes he's smoked in his whole life. Call 911. Let's roll him onto the blanket and carry him to the front door so the paramedics can get to him. Quick! I'll call 911 on my cordless. Roll him onto this. I don't know if I can. I'm half baked. Go find someone who's strong and isn't stoned. What about that young dude who thinks he's old? Oh yeah. You are. I need your help. Oh, no. Shh, keep it down, young buck. This man needs his sleep. He's been through a lot in the it, last 24 hours. Somebody he might have died. I'm, I don't know. I think it's one of the nurses. I can't remember. Dude, I'm half-baked. Ah. has one less person in it. Axel, Axel died 10 minutes ago. It's official, they pronounced him dead at 847. So I guess we all learned that smoking cigarettes kills. But smoking marijuana doesn't. I, I've learned that when someone dies, the best way to handle your grief is to make a stained glass wall hanging of their face. Florence. And I learned that people become more sexually attractive when we discover that they're, they're famous. Afternoon of chuckles and very valuable lessons on KBC coming up next.